Okay. Um, good morning and good evening, everyone. On behalf of our Chancellor, Dr. Carl Stockton, and Dr. Shanta Warma, the special advisor to the Chancellor in the Office of Collaborative Partnerships, welcome to the ex exhibit and experience beyond the college and classroom webinar series. We are excited to have you here to join us to hear about the work of our faculty and about the various programs, departments, and majors that AUM offers. The Office of Collaborative Partnerships exists to serve the River, River Region, Alabama, the Southeast, and institutions abroad by creating and maintaining agreements with school district and dis independent schools, community, community college, and four-year universities. That offer, that offer students opportunities to pursue academic degree that um, also reduce the cost and time to degree. This webinar is one event we host to foster connections with our partners, as well as showcase the excellent work of our faculty in and out of our classrooms. Now, please allow me to introduce our presenters. Okay. Our first presenter is Dr. David Ann from the Department of Information Systems in the College of Business. Dr. David Ann is a professor and department head of information systems at Auburn University at Montgomery. He has 20 plus years of teaching and professional practical working experience. His primary areas of research include information technology applications, system analysis, and business process management and improvement. He has published more than 50 articles in academic business, research journals, and conference proceedings. He also chaired and co-chaired several international academic conferences and actively particip participants in editorial duties for academic journals and conference proceedings. Dr. N holds a PhD in industrial management and system engineering for the, from the University of Alabama in Huntsville. During Dr. Ann's presentation, please feel free to include your questions in the chat box. There also will be time at the end of his portion to answer the questions. Now, please welcome Dr. David Ann from College of Business. Good morning, good evening. Um, welcome to the web um, webinar one more time. And so uh, glad and honored to be here and uh, to um, do our showcase and represent the uh, Department of Information System in the College of Business. So um, first of all, let me go ahead and share my screen. I do have a PowerPoint presentation that I'm going to um, demonstrates. So bear with me. Uh, Ms. Lorena, I am not able to share the screen. Would you make me a co-host? Dr. Ang, you should be able to share now. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay. Um, again, uh, welcome uh, to the College of Business Department of Management Information System. Um, the uh, Welcome page uh, consists of uh, our uh, full-time faculties and uh, admin associate as well as a program advisor. And so um, this is our full-time faculties. And so um, the next thing I would like to talk about is, uh, first of all, just another uh, gender reminder. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, put, post your question on the chat box. And so um, Ms. Alice and Ms. Lorena will be uh, monitoring the, your question and we'll be glad to answer to my best ability. Um, so the first thing I'd like to do is actually is introduce our program. 
Uh, we are an uh, information system, uh, so in the College of Business. Uh, we offer a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration in Information System. We are business uh, people, but yet uh, handle the uh, technology aspect. So uh, currently, we do have three, uh, our program offer three concentrations. Uh, we do have the MIS, uh, Enterprise Network Management, and also the Enterprise Data Management and Applications. So um, to be, um, most of the students actually like to know a little bit about our program. Um, so in, in general, uh, we are different from the uh, other disciplines such as uh, computer engineering or computer science. We are a management information system. It's also called computer information system, business information system, or just information system that's belong to us. This area is mainly concerned with using information as efficiently and effectively as possible for a competitive advantage. And so our program trains students uh, to work well in business organizations and also be able to handle the, the technical aspect. In general, to be brief, our students in this area learn to program, uh, but they are concerned with more designing on the database system, networking system to be used by a business rather than creating the software to create a database system or network system. Uh, our MIS major take business courses uh, in order to learn how a business work. They apply this knowledge to help businesses to get the most from their information. Um, to Just to edit uh, knowledge information, our graduate has no problem in job placements. Uh, I really have a difficulty uh, sending student uh, or um, training or internship uh, that are requested by our river regions, local industry or company. The reason for that is most of our students when they reach juniors or uh, the end of junior, they have already have job lined up and so they, while they're working part-time going to school, uh, eventually uh, they end up with a job with the company or with someone else. And so it's a very, very demanding field. It's a very, it's a very good field that I'm proud to introduce and to actually is to encourage you to uh, specialize in. Uh, according to the FLOP uh, magazine, uh, our uh, MIS uh, degree program actually ranked the top five uh, in their list uh, for degree and job placement and also salary earning. Uh, so individual with a degree can expect to earn anywhere between 50,000 and above from the entry level position to up to all the way to 130,000, 120. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not trying to be bragging. Um, so uh, I have students that I produce and graduates. And so um, within five years, they make salary more than I earn. <laughs> so it's unreal. Um, but anyway, I'm so proud and, and, and good for them. And so um, here are some of the job prospects that most of our uh, graduate will be able to get. Uh, to work uh, when they graduate with us. Uh, jobs such as uh, system administrator, how to manage a uh, database system, how to dis, uh, re, uh, actually retreat information, how to disseminate information effectively, efficiently uh, within organizations. Not only that, our degree is very unique in such a way that we are business people. We were trained with all the series and rigorous uh, business courses. We work well with people. We know how to communicate with people. And then on top of that, uh, this specialization will be trained in the technical area and how to retreat information, disseminate information, and also help people to get information and meaningful information. Information in terms of data, and in the corporate world and sharing data, utilize data, and also how to store data, how to protect data. So uh, you will be prepared to work 
and uh, honestly speaking. Um, so the next slide, I just want to introduce you with a base uh, quick facts. Uh, our program is cutting edge, very relevant, work ready curriculum. Our curriculum is actually is uh, created and through um, input from the local industry. What do they need? Uh, what do they expect from our graduates? So it's a work ready curriculum degree program. And on top of that, I'm very proud to announce our degree program is AACSB accredited. And this is a very prestigious business school accreditations. And AUM is one of the top 10% business school in the entire world to gain these accreditations. This means our degree program is really is a caliber degree program as well as it worth the money that you invested. Uh, on top of that, we are certified STEM program uh, from the international student perspective. Uh, your OPT, which is once you graduate, uh, according to the United States Immigration uh, Government, uh, and that international students are allowed to do practical training. So with the STEM certified program, once you earn the degree with us, you automatically have an extended uh, additional 17 months, if I'm not mistaken, on top of your one year already been given to you. So in other words, in a total of 29 months, you're allowed to stay here, work in the United States and uh, earn uh, all the on-job training and practical training. Uh, on, so in addition to certified STEM program, our program is also a SAP University Alliance degree program. This means that we are utilizing this giant's uh, software from um, German. Um, uh, it's a Germany uh, SAP software is a, one of the largest market software and how to manage uh, resources uh, within organizations such as supply chain management, uh, such as business analytics, such as how to run, uh, manage uh, resources within organization more effectively. We are utilizing SAP curriculum. So in other words, our students, when they learn the SAP courses, they will be exposed to the real world SAP operating system. So uh, upon graduate um, or earning this uh, SAP uh, courses, taking this SAP courses, student will be given a student recognition award. And this actually is a lead way to open up their career path. In other words, student will get this award, award and then put into the resume and being recognized. And so uh, most likely uh, corporate world and um, uh, do understand what SAP University uh, Student Recognition Award and if the company actually utilized the SAP operating system. The, to mention a few in the River region, we do have a Hyundai, uh, which is a South Korean car manufacturer, and uh, which is actually the first North America uh, Hyundai car manufacturer uh, in the North America is actually uh, have a production facility right in this hometown, Montgomery, Alabama. So they do use SAP operating system to manage their resources, uh, the enterprise resources. So uh, most likely student that actually graduate with us with the SAP uh, student recognition award uh, in terms of job placements is uh, it should create a very, very high competitive edge and most likely will be considered first to be higher. Uh, um, in our program, we also do offer internship opportunity. And so internship uh, basically allows students to get uh, practical training while going to school and while finishing degree program with us. And so uh, again, as I said, from time to time, we do have a lot of local industry looking for students to do, uh, do internship during the summer or within the regular semester's term. And I do have a hard time to send students there because our students most likely are 
either engage with the local company, work full-time or part-time, going to school at the same time. So um, we do have internship opportunity. Opportunity student that actually can earn internship opportunity for experience as well as for course credit. In other words, a uh, student would have to submit a proposal and that intend to do internship, learning the practical training with corporate, and then uh, convert that into a course credits. Course credit can be given up to six credit hours that will apply toward their graduate degree program. By the way, it's only take 120 credit hours to graduate with us in a BSBA in the information system. Our mission in the College of Business uh, preach about small class size. And so the whole idea here is um, we are small school and a lot of students actually is uh, really like our setting. And we have heard a lot of testimony from our graduate alumni that they have no regret to uh, come to take the degree with us as opposed to a bigger school where most of the classes are taught by graduate teaching assistants, uh, never taught by a professor. And I'm very proud that our classes mainly are going to be taught by full-time faculty. We have eight full-time PhD faculty and one lecturer. And so we engage with students, we care for our students. And so we teach, we mentor, we just treat students as our friends, uh, even as a kids or my children. And so we help them to grow, nurture them. And so I'm definitely in my department, I can attest my full-time faculty are very passionate and help students to their best ability and teach the way uh, we're supposed to as an academy. And um, also in our department uh, for our major discipline, we do have student organization that's called Information System Club. And this club um, from time is a year round club is managed by the students. Uh, well, officer will be elected, president, vice president, and such uh, uh, et cetera. And so students run the organization and however, we do have a faculty as an advisor to help them. So from time to time activities such as inviting guests lecturer, mainly from the experienced local industry people such as the presidents or the CIO, the senior people, MIS people to come and teach, uh, come and give a uh, speech, uh, sharing their experience at workplace. And so student actually gains a lot of, a lot of good uh, learning um, experience from these people. On top of that, this IS club also provide networking opportunity, interaction, social uh, events, and for uh, the students uh, for majoring in information system. So uh, as you see that we do have a lot of recognitions and I'm so proud and, uh, about our programs. So uh, to recap, and just to share with you that uh, our BSBA IS program offer three concentrations. And so uh, I never have problem um, uh, students uh, looking for jobs and when they graduate. So uh, in different area, uh, different area of title, job title, and as shown on the slides. Um, Next thing I'd like to share a little bit about uh, some of the student support within our college, uh, also within our department. Uh, we do provide assistantships. Um, also, most importantly is we do provide uh, student mentoring uh, and also tutoring. Uh, we do have a job placement um, advisor and also program academic advisor. And so on top of that, AUM do have also have career developments uh, center that student can actually uh, utilize them. Uh, so they, the career development center will guide students, help students uh, prepare resume, 
um, uh, and, and to help them to uh, prepare to get jobs uh, in general. And so those are the student support services that we do offer. Uh, so uh, again, if you have any questions about uh, the bachelor um, degree program, uh, feel free uh, to ask uh, your question and place in the chat box, and I'll be glad to answer. Um, the next, I want to introduce our departments. Um, we do offer uh, Master of Science in MIS. Uh, Master of Science in MIS is going to be completely slightly different from the bachelor uh, in business information and information system. So we do offer uh, three concentration in our master program. Uh, again, information system uh, in, in general is to train a student that actually uh, would like to uh, take leadership role uh, to become a chief uh, information system officer, uh, uh, more on the manager role in other words. And we do have that concentration. And then another concentration we do have is called the business and data analytic. And um, by far, this is the most popular one. And also right now is, uh, is one of the hottest job um, market right now. And, and, and a student that uh, graduate with our uh, business and data analytic program, uh, most of them have uh, jobs um, already. And um, so this um, program um, is going to be, uh, I'm also proud to announce that we do have, uh, a, we have our been approved and also we will be uh, launching a completely online MS, MIS business and data analytic degree program on top of our uh, campus face-to-face full-time program. In other words, we are offering two degree program, one's traditional, one uh, online degree program in this business and data analytic options. And then another concentration in MIS is the uh, enterprise resource planning, is to uh, produce a graduate that be able to help the company to manage resource um, information, um, how to um, use, uh, uh, to be brief, uh, how to utilize the least and do the most, in other words, and manage resource uh, resources. Um, so uh, business and, and data analytic and enterprise resource planning, uh, those two degree programs are also our, uh, is, uh, there are um, SAP University Align program. In other words, we utilize the SAP University Align program curriculum and um, to teach uh, our SAP courses and uh, to produce uh, students in SAP uh, curriculum. So uh, when students graduate from this degree program, automatically they will get the SAP Student Recognition Award from the SAP and the, from the department. <laughs> Um, quick facts, um, just to um, let you know that is only take uh, 10 courses um, beyond your uh, bachelor degree program, uh, 30 credit hours, 10 courses. Uh, each course is three credit hours. Uh, program can be completed as quickly as in three semester or three full terms. And so uh, mainly maybe five semester for part-time this, in other words, a student that actually um, work full-time as well as come to school as a part-time. And so uh, most likely they will be taking two courses per semester. And so uh, in five semester, uh, they should be able to graduate. For full-timer, they should be able to graduate in three full semester. Um, again, uh, online options is available and we will be doing the uh, online degree program, uh, MIS, uh, MS, MIS in business and data analytic uh, concentration beginning in the fall semester. Uh, we are AACSB accredited, um, uh, of course, STEM certified as well as SAP University Alliance 
degree program. Um, but right now, currently, if uh, for students that who intend to apply, uh, GMATs uh, is going to be waived due to the COVID-19 pandemics. So uh, AUM um, waived the GMATs requirement for admission. So this is a great opportunity for students to take this uh, opportunity to apply and um, just to share that with you. Um, in general, uh, you can go to our websites um, to uh, see more detail our course work, our courses in our curriculum uh, for all the degree options program. Uh, but uh, all the degree option program will still go through this um, structure. Uh, all students will have to take four program core courses, three require concentrations, and then plus three concentration elective and all add up to be 10 courses uh, in order to earn this MS and MIS degree program. Uh, again, I would like to reiterate uh, for students that would intend to apply and get admitted uh, for the summer and the fall. And this is a great opportunity and uh, GMAT will be waived. And um, so uh, if you do have accumulative uh, equivalent GPA 3.0, you will be admitted. Um, our MIS, uh, MSMIS program um, was honored uh, to announce that we have been designated as a graduate focused scholarship uh, degree program. In other words, uh, student, new student that enroll in this degree program uh, will get a scholarship. The scholarship is tuition is reduced by $100 per credit hours. Uh, that will reach the end of my slide presentation. Um, so I'm open up for question and answer. Or um, should you uh, wish to um, um, send your question to me directly. Um, I'll be glad to answer any question that you may have. Feel free to do so. Um, my email address is simple, easy, dang at aum.edu. Thank you. Um, Ms. Lorena, do you have any questions? Should I stop sharing my screen or you have um, any questions? Or the audience have any questions? Yeah, I don't see any questions in the chat box, but would you mind hanging around for a little bit in case there are questions? Sure. Offering? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'd be and, glad to. Yeah. And so, Alice, we'll go ahead and introduce um, Dr. Wu and Dr. Gao. Um, and participants, welcome. Again, I know some of you have, were having technical issues. Um, but yeah, I'll kick it over to Alice to introduce the next section. Okay, um, Dr. Wu, please go ahead to um, share your screen. Um, while Dr. Wu is um, sharing his screen, please allow me to introduce our next presenters, Dr. Li Wu and Dr. Jimin Gao from the Department of Computer Science um, from the College of Science. Dr. Li Wu received his PhD in computer science from University of Montreal in year of 2005. His research interests include artificial intelligence, big data analytics, video games, STEM education, and robotics. He is currently the chair and professor in the Department of Computer Science, College of Science, Auburn University at Montgomery. His most recent publications include the Advancing AI-Aided Computational Thinking in STEM Education and Realistic Drawing and Painting with AI-Supported Geometrical and Computational Method, both published in Springer Nature, Research Book Series, Transaction on Computational Science and Computational Intelligence, year 2020. Dr. Jimin Gao received his PhD of Computer Science from University of Houston, Clare Lake, and is currently an assistant professor at Auburn University at Montgomery. He worked as a senior engineer from many cybersecurity and mobile security projects funded 
by the Department of Homeland Security and the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. His research interests include blockchain, high-performance computing, IoT, and cloud computing. Now, please welcome Dr. Wu and Dr. Gao from the Department of Computer Science. Thank you so much, Alice. So I'm sharing my screen. Can you see my screen? Can everybody see my screen? Hello? Yes, we can see it. OK. So very glad to be here and uh, very honored to be here. And uh, I'm going to introduce the computer science department. And it's a very new department, basically. It's the newest department on this campus. Uh, it's the Department of Computer Science and the Computer Information Systems. We have, uh, uh, this is our, our faculty and also the new faculty that we just hired, including together. So we provide the certified STEM degree programs we have undergraduate bachelor degree in computer science, master degree in computer science, and a master degree in information system cybersecurity. We have uh, about uh, 120 uh, credit hours for our undergraduate program and uh, 33 credit hours for the master program. Our specialize is in several concentrations. And our characteristic is that uh, the faculty focus on the small size of students in each class and give them full attention. Meanwhile, before I continue, I'd like to introduce that uh, we have a specialized advisor who keep an eye on student performance on a weekly basis. So in this way, whenever a student uh, slip away, and uh, get a poor performance during any week, we will be able to notice, notice that and be able to actively approach the students and link the in instructor, the TA, together with the student using the Zoom to have a special advising and coaching and the tutoring session to help students to finish their homework, their lab, their practice, their project, et cetera. In this way, we aim at to reduce the DFW rate and also significantly improve students' performance. This is a unique in, on the whole campus. And uh, well, we have seen a great success in, in the past semester, just this year, the last semester. And we're going to fulfill this part and have a full-time Oh, right now it's part-time position and eventually full, uh, fulfill a part, uh, full-time position. It's called the Student Success Coach. Currently we have seven full-time PhD faculties and two lectures. And meanwhile, we also have a, a very strong uh, wing, which is the Center of Cybersecurity. In fact, uh, Dr. Uh, Gary, uh, Mr. Gary Amberson is the director of the Center of Cybersecurity. This uh, center linked with uh, all the colleges on this campus, meanwhile, with uh, the local government, the local organization institutions, and also the in air base, and collaborate on projects, on proposals, on granting grants. Uh, for cybersecurity. And recently, uh, our faculty, Dr. Gao and myself, we collaborated with the uh, University of Texas, and we have uh, shoot a very big grant for cybersecurity with AI. And we have passed the second phase uh, for the invited uh, proposal. And uh, we got feedback very positive now, and the most possibly it will be awarded in next week. In fact, it's just next month, next week. Uh, we're very excited about all those uh, possibilities. And meanwhile, our faculty have a very strong research portfolio. And uh, we have received uh, recently uh, multiple grants 
from the government, especially from National Science Foundation, NSF. For example, Dr. Underwood uh, has won for STEM education uh, about $1 million. And uh, the recent one that we submitted and uh, is going to announce soon was uh, $3 million. And the Dr. Sorry, that's a mistake. Dr. Dinch just received his uh, grant about uh, uh, $350,000. So there are a lot of uh, uh, activities, especially research activities towards the undergraduate research experience. And uh, with our new hiring, the uh, two faculties, Dr. Kushan and Dr. Jack, uh, Jack Liu. They all have strong research portfolio and the most possibly will attract and secure the, uh, the grants, external grants for our undergraduate students. And currently we are hiring and giving a stipend and scholarship to our students for doing, especially undergraduate students for doing the undergraduate research. And it is a possibility that uh, before the student being admitted, we will be able to assign the research stipend and scholarship to our students. Our research agencies, including Department of DOD, Department of Defense, Defat, uh, National Science Foundation, uh, Department of Education, etc. And our goal is that to make a computer science program the premium, the top one in the South region. In order to achieve this goal, we have emphasized on several parts. According to the criteria, the first part is the teaching quality. So we aim at to improve significantly the teaching quality as well as student performance. And also, the research capability, especially introducing the research experience for the undergraduate students. So it's very uh, unreal that uh, you can see that uh, these things is even harder to see in the tier one research universities. But here in our, on our campus, especially in our department, we are hiring a lot, significant amount of students to do the research, especially undergraduate students. And this is a very unique experience. The students will get a very strong hands-on experience. And especially with the new lab that we're going to create it. For example, one is the robotics lab. We will be collaborated with the Hyundai automobile manufacturers. And uh, the advanced robotics application, especially the uh, robotics uh, arm that can perform various uh, uh, job tasks will be installed in the facility and our students will be get training to do the programming, to do the control. Eventually when they graduate, they can be easily uh, find the, the, the very seamless uh, transition from academia to industry. And also we have a very strong computer science club and this club are supported by the department and uh, they participate in various competition uh, nationally and also internationally. Our faculty lead our students to join, to participate in those competitions. Sometimes they involve the travel from one state to another state. And uh, our faculty coach them, chaperone them, live with the students, uh, work with the students, and eventually help them to get the preparation and eventually be able to compete in a very strong uh, international arena. And uh, our team has won several titles in recent years competition. The computer science department uh, undergraduate program concerns uh, uh, several, several Im important uh, concentrations. And uh, totally we have, uh, in fact, five concentration, but the last one is collaborated with the environmental science program. So the top, the four concentration are big data, web and mobile computing, 
information systems and cybersecurity, robotics, AI, and computer engineering, animation, interactive virtual reality, basically is the gaming. So total four concentrations. And uh, our students find themselves very competitive on the market. Once they graduate, even before their graduation, they find the job. And uh, there are several incidents that uh, uh, I will highlight. Uh, the top hiring uh, industry basically is the high tech industry. And uh, not only that, also the local and the regional and the international uh, manufacturing uh, facilities and also the research facilities in the public and the private sectors find our students very competitive and uh, with a high salary, basically the enrollment, the, the base salary. I have students uh, being enrolled in, being recruited by Google uh, with extremely high salary. It's double the salary of, uh, of a regular, maybe how to say, uh, it's two times of uh, the regular size salary that uh, we can expect in the industry. Normally, the salary in the industry uh, is about one hundred thousand dollars, but the one offered by Google by Amazon is double. That's the standard, and we have many student, many student graduate uh, find a job very close to that salary. The CS, uh, the these are the details about those uh, four concentrations, and I'd like to in, in introduce some of uh, the detail coursework, and many of those coursework, in fact, are not uh, directly come from our curriculum design because we are going to uh, get the ABAT accreditation. Many of those course, in fact, are actually from our collaborators from the local industry. For example, one, the, in fact, the, the director of the information technology department from the uh, Alabama state visit us and express that uh, all the system that they are using basically is based on the .NET system by Microsoft. And they have very strong interest to hire our students either do the, with large number, do the internship and also the, uh, the final hiring enrollment. And they just require that uh, the student has to be able to work on the .NET environment and especially with the programming language called C Sharp. And uh, previously our program do not, does not include this, uh, uh, this programming language and with a new design and we include this language, not only that one, but also the whole pack of uh, applications, including the, the database. So we all include those things into our program. For this program, we have students get the, the job offered in various sectors of the industry. For example, the automobile industry uh, here locally in Montgomery with the Hyundai Automobile Manufacturing Center, and also with uh, other in, uh, automobile industry, including uh, the Nissan Automobile Company in Tennessee. We have uh, multiple students being hired by that company with very high salary, close to, in fact, uh, it's around the, 90, the lowest one I saw is $92,000 for the first, first time graduate students without previous working experience. And the students have passed all the three technical interview and the testing. So it's very intensive. So our program emphasizes on the technical skills. Uh, they may not be a very good in whatever they call it to say the other issues, but they're very specified, good at uh, the technical issue to solve the problem, to deliver the system, to do the development, everything. And the highest I saw in this uh, domain, it's the from the student salary, it's uh, our students got uh, $130,000. That's the highest I saw in this directory, in this domain 
basically it's for the mobile and web development for the application that the industry required. For example, for Nissan company, they require the system to be used to track all the parts, especially the, the supporting parts inside of the manufacturer facilities and outside of the manufacturing facilities on the route with all the detailed information with GPS uh, tracking. And then another concentration is the information system cybersecurity. For this sector, it's, uh, it has a very strong demand by the industry, especially by the government. And uh, our students find themselves so well prepared, especially for the technical part, because uh, all of our four concentrations are especially concentrated on the technical parts. So with the technical parts, uh, strong skill, they found themselves so easy to find a job in the market. And that's, the, the salary is relatively higher than regular computer science. So here uh, we can see that uh, this is our um, core courses. And basically we have two uh, Frank, basically it's a cyber attack and a cyber defense. Based on each concentration, students learn the skills, the technical skill, including the hands-on skill, as well as the programming skill. So for example, we have the hacking in encrypted cipher with the Python programming. And meanwhile, we emphasize the mathematical foundations with the cryptography. And then we emphasize on the security part for the computer security and also the internet security. And one important issue is the ethical hacking and then the penetration testing. So all those things are concentrated to the program and also with the digital forensics, our students have found themselves uh, in a very advanced positions. <clears throat> uh, another direction is the concentration is called the robotics, uh, uh, artificial intelligence and the computer engineering. For this concentration, we emphasize on multiple uh, factors of uh, artificial intelligence applications in robotics domain. Meanwhile, as the general purpose computer engineering domain. And here we can see that there are some significant uh, usage here. And uh, I'd like to share the, the some projects that our students did in the past. So here, this one is the, uh, the mind-controlled robotics application. Basically, there's a device student to use to hook together with your, uh, together with, uh, with your, uh, the, 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 the sensors to collect all those information. This project basically get the information from a sensor from the brain wave and use this brain wave, transfer it wirelessly to control the robot. So basically you need to think hard and imagine that you can drive the robot and drive it forward. Gradually this signal will be stronger and stronger and be powerful enough to drive the model, the motor. The motor will be started, and then based on the signal, it will start working. So it can control the speed, especially the speed is depends on your mind signal strengths. And also it can control the directions. So for the directions, it uses several sensors to determine. Why is the major one is the brain sense uh, information, Another one is the positions from your head. Basically, when you are thinking turning it left, your head may a little bit tilt towards the left. So those information will be controlled and transferred to control the robot. 
And another uh, example is uh, the one that uh, we worked with the NSF, National Science Foundation, to help a senior person living alone at home or the person with uh, some kind of uh, clinical diseases. Uh, they have tendency that they may lose the consciousness soon or lost the mobility easily. However, they still can be able to alter the sound. So this robot, basically it has a camera in front of it. You can see here, there's a camera. And then all those wireless control, and this is the first generation, this is the second generation, much improved. Basically, whenever uh, a person at home need help or fall down on the ground, cannot move for seniors like that. They can simply yell help. Once this signal being processed, be captured by the machine, it will capture those information and then immediately call the number that you have already installed there. In fact, that's the family members. Using the cell phone, the family member can remotely control this robot. And then according to the sound source, the, the screen will show the sound source and drive it towards the location that the senior or any family member who is needing help. And on the screen, the family member can see the one who is helping her. And also on the screen of the cell phone, the family member can also see what is happening and see the family member who needs help. And uh, in our uh, engineering program, we, we have one project that uh, students organize in team and develop a, a hybrid bicycle system. So for hybrid bicycle system, basically it uses the rotor, electrical motor, and also electricity as a power to drive the bicycle. And our student team, basically they design the whole uh, project and work on the project. We have a pre-engineering uh, lab. Students so work in that lab and produce, work together, produce the solutions. And uh, the instructor and the teaching assistant always help them. So basically each team produce totally different project. Another concentration is called the animation and the interactive virtual reality. Basically, it's a gaming development. For this one, we have a, a very strong needs from the market and from our students. And we are developing this uh, concentration and uh, hopefully it can be full-fledged soon. And we're offering those courses already for three semesters for some of those courses. And the rest course will be offered soon. Uh, we are hiring two faculties concentrated in this uh, concentration and collaborated with the fine arts department. So eventually this will be a collaborated pro program and be available for uh, different uh, uh, arts students and also computer science students. And here we show some examples. So we use, the, we have course for the 3D object modeling. So this is a student work. So students will use the software and also, the, in fact, we have an animation lab. It's uh, one of the best re uh, animation lab in the South region. In fact, that's the only one in the state of Alabama. And uh, the equipment is uh, 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 advanced equipment. And uh, based on those uh, facilities, uh, the student can easily create, uh, create those uh, and learn those skills to create uh, those results. So basically a student will design the object first and then implement those objects using the software that we provided and eventually use the rendering and the animation, put it into the rigging and then do the animation, then put it into the game engine to do the game, to develop the game. And here you can see that this is another example. This is an Abraham uh, tank used by American USA military. 
And this one, look at the artillery here. The end is a bow. And here is like a bow shape holder. And we use 3D printers to print each part that we designed. And then the different parts can be assembled together and then can rotate similar things here. For the base, it has a bow holder shape. And then in the end of the, on the bottom of the upper part, it has another bow. Then you can click them together and then rotate. So basically it's, uh, <clears throat> it's very useful for students. Once they got this type of training, they can easily find themselves in a very good position in the job market in different directions, many different directions. Here's another example. So all those are students' work. And also we put everything together and develop the, the video game. And here you can see that the student doesn't hold anything. Basically we use the camera and the, use the position to control the object in the, car, in, in the video game. The last one is called the GIS system, Geo uh, Geographic Information System. It's collaborated with the Environmental Science Program. For this program, we work on many different projects together. And uh, this is just a start of this uh, collaboration. And already computer science department have already <clears throat> uh, started the student project. One project is shooting at the NSF uh, NASA University competition. Here is our past experience. It's myself. Uh, I coached our students in my previous institute institution. I coached our students. Here, those are our students, and participated in the NASA University competition. And we won that competition. And our student with their project went to the zero gravity orbit. And here is the zero gravity orbit to do the project. And uh, we collaborated with NSF, National Science Foundation, NASA, Department of Defense and Automobile Industries to create our uh, projects. The current project that we have already done and the, um, continue to work on it is the NASA unmanned vehicle. In fact, it's the airplane or drone system, which can fly 10 miles, at least 10 miles back and forth four times. So basically within 50, 40 miles uh, range and be able to carry the payload of one pound and without any human intervention. So basically it's autonomous airplane that uh, can carry facilities or some kind of weights to the location and automatically take off and automatically land. And then we use the perpendicular takeoff and the perpendicular landing. And those designs are very unique. And it's like a rocket shooting into the air and then cruise and then slow down. And then like a rocket gradually land on, on, the, uh, on the land. It's very much like the SpaceX uh, uh, rocket that you have seen by SpaceX company, but it's a much smaller version. And our goal is to first to fly is to fly about one mile on the campus, back and forth. And then second goal is to fly 10 miles to the, uh, to the city of Montgomery. And, and then the, the second goal, the third goal is to fly to the main campus of Auburn University automatically, uh, autonomously without any human intervention. And during the whole process, uh, uh, our student will We'll have the GPS and look at on the uh, on the map to see the height, the speed, the direction, and the video um, situations on on the airplane, and landed there on about 50 miles away in Auburn University. And our last goal is to fly to the NASA Center located in uh, Huntsville, Alabama, and our goal is to win a medal from. NASA National University competition. And keep in mind that normally those winners are always among those big names. And uh, we aim at it and uh, we believe we will eventually get this trophy. 
And also for our students, we have a very uh, supportive student support services. So including the, ma the major one that we are going in, in fact, we have already implemented in last semester, and we're going to make it officially available for our students is the student success coach. This coach will closely monitor student performance in every course that computer science department offers in each semester. And uh, it's on weekly basis. That means uh, each week, whenever any students get slowed down, get difficulties in any course in computer science department uh, offered courses, they will immediately be contacted by this student uh, success coach and uh, get the resources that student needs, no matter it is uh, late after the homework or, or low, low grading in homework, in test, whatever. The student will immediately get being uh, accessed, being, being approached by us and eventually improve. So we found that this is a very uh, active and uh, efficient way to help students. In the past, uh, we see we witnessed that uh, the student performance, especially last semester, have been increased significantly. And for the master program, we have a total 33 credit hours requirement. Basically, it's 11 courses. And we have two master degree program. One is a master in computer science. One is a master in computer information system, cybersecurity. And uh, we have seen students finish the, the program within three semesters and some within five semesters if it's based on part-time. And uh, we provide uh, the latest version of uh, the online options. So basically students can take all the courses online, depends on their status. If they are international students, they have to take some courses, uh, we call them as a hybrid. But as long as you, have, you don't have the in immigration visa requirement, then you can take all the course program online. And uh, we have the GRE waiver um, program currently. We emphasize on the GPA. So as long as your GPA for your undergraduate is good, you should be good. And uh, our master program emphasizes on the core, essential, and the electives. We have four core, four essential, and three electives and cover all the four concentrations. Currently will be the five concentrations and students have a wide range of selections to choose the courses. And in fact, I, we have some very strong comments from our students. And uh, one comment that I heard, in fact, the student came to my office and told me with uh, emotion basically. And she told me that uh, she was so grateful that uh, our program and our faculties are so helpful. And the course that we offered are so advanced in technology. And he, she said that if she found her dream job tomorrow, he would like to say that it's all because of this program. And I'm very uh, appreciate to hear that. And many students express the same things, especially we have some international students. They come into the program from other country and eventually land with their dream jobs, they have so many appreciations towards this program. And for the enrollment, especially for the master degree program, we have automatic uh, $10,000 enrollment scholarship for everyone who have been accepted to this program. And this scholarship will be used towards their tuition in every semester. And also we have the graduate teaching and research scholarships. And those research scholarships will be available for students who have already in this program. And it will provide in-state tuition. Basically it will reduce the tuition to half. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact with me. And here's my email lwu at aum.edu. Yeah, thank you very much. I can stop my sharing or if you want, you can ask me any questions.
thank you so much, Dr. Wu. Um, Dr. Thank Gao, you. would you mind to add anything into that? Uh, sure, yeah. Let me share my screen. Okay. Okay, so uh, first of all, thank you, Dr. Wu. Uh, actually, cybersecurity is a master program that is offered by the Department of Computer Science. I think Dr. Wu has already covered most of the content of this program. So uh, here, I just going. I'm just going to like uh, give you more details uh, about the this program. Um, talking about the master program. So the learning objects. So basically. Uh, in this program, you are going to identify and respond to the information security challenges in distributed and embedded systems and integrate the use of encryption technology in non-secured and non-private computer systems and design and conduct research in the area of cyber systems and information systems and critically evaluate in, um, and applied research to computer and cyber security, uh, cyber systems threats. And those are like the skills that you can learn from this program. Basically, I classify those skills into two categories. One is like a theoretical skill, and then the other, in the, the other one is like a practical skills. Uh, for the theor theoretical part, for example, uh, you will be able to assess the uh, assess in, for example, the access information risk faced by a organization and develop a response plan. For the practical one, you can you will learn like how to manage the uh, development uh, and then it will uh, evolution of a secure information network and then you will be able to construct secure network and then distribute the computer system okay and then the salary for the cybersecurity job is pretty promising i think this is some number that uh, we collected from the uh, job market so for example for the uh, a job name like um, uh, network and computer systems administrators. So the medium annual pay would be like around 82,000. That is already very um, higher, I mean, higher than the average uh, salary in the, how to say, in the same area in the computer science. Okay. So, and then especially I want to introduce the cyber, uh, the center for the cybersecurity in our school. So the AUM, um, in order to develop the um, uh, the program of cybersecurity, we also created a center which is named Center for Cybersecurity. So the task we have like a several tasks for this uh, center of uh, cybersecurity. We call it like we can call it CCS for short. So especially we in this uh, center for cybersecurity, we are going to um, cultivate multi um, uh, beneficial partnership workshop, workforce training opportunities and applied research cooperators. So basically we're gonna, we're going to outreach the uh, communities, for example, the local companies and the local government agencies to see if they have like a job opportunities for our students or like a grant opportunities for the researchers in our program. So those like um, the, um, uh, currently, we are working on like uh, to see if we can um, have some partnership with the uh, the 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 Com TIA's Academy program. So in this program, I mean, whenever you finish the uh, cybersecurity course, you will be able to uh, you you will get the chance to get a certificate. So so this case is very important for a student. To get a job after the um, after graduations, so this is something that we are working on, and we also like uh, in the sub, um, we also like uh, trying to outreach the local um, government agencies like uh, the Maxwell Air Force Base and then the Montgomery Area Chamber of uh, Commerce and its uh, Tech MGM initiative. Those like uh, the local government agencies that we are uh, trying to reach out to see if they can offer our student like uh, job opportunities or like uh, offer our researchers uh, grant opportunities. Uh, this is our uh, director of uh, the center for the cybersecurity. I think Dr. Wu has just introduced him. Uh, his name is uh, Gary Amazon. So um, he's uh, helping us to develop the, uh, the uh, center for the cybersecurity as well. 
And then those like uh, the courses that we are offering. So I think Dr. Wu has already mentioned that. So I won't go through the details. Uh, this is some course example that you will be able to see during the course. Uh, so this is just like a very simple example, like uh, introducing the um, uh, private something that's routing. Okay. And then the study plan. So uh, in order to graduate, you need to finish like uh, 33 credit hours. So uh, there will be like 24 credit hours from the uh, core courses and then nine credit hours from the elective, course, uh, elective courses. Um, and then based on the your previous uh, degree, for example, if you are non-CS degree uh, during the undergraduate, you need, may need to like uh, take two prerequisite courses as well. Uh, one is the functional programming with C++, the other is like object-oriented programming with C++. And then for the research, um, so our faculty is working very hard in uh, grant application. So this is the, like uh, one of the examples. So we, uh, as I think Dr. Wu has already mentioned two grants that has already been uh, granted. And this is the one that we're currently working on. Uh, this is a very big program. So uh, it's from the, the government agency is DOD, Department of uh, Defense. And um, the basic idea is to use the AI, the artificial intelligence to help uh, to uh, assist the AI, to assist the cybersecurity um, education. For example, uh, you in this program, I mean, in this project, the student will be able to how to say to uh, fight with the AI to, for example, the AI will be taking care of the uh, attacking part, and then the student will be taking care of the uh, the uh, defense part. I mean, by this competition, the AI will learn something from the student, and then will enhance his skill, its skill in the future in the attacking, and then the student will also be able to learn something from the AI, and then will improve the skills when uh, when he or she is doing defense uh, in the cybersecurity in the future. So this is a very, this will be a very interesting project, I think. And hopefully we will be able to get this grant next month. And those like are the activities, uh, student activities. So um, usually we organize students to attend international conference uh, international conference based uh, related to cybersecurity, for example, the uh, Black Hat and then the um, DEF CON. Okay, those are like, uh, the pictures that we took from the uh, previous uh, DEF CON. And besides that, we also organize students to attend the ACM programming uh, competition. And then uh, we also organize students to attend the local hackathon and then the uh, workshop related to cybersecurity. And then we also have our meetup group, um, which uh, allow, the, allow the students to meet with the um, experts in cybersecurity locally. And then we also organize the uh, CTF, uh, the Catch the Flag competition as well. This is like a very popular uh, competition in the cybersecurity as well. So um, this is my uh, contact. So in case you have any questions, you can contact me anytime, okay. Thank you so much, Darika. Okay, now allow me to share my screen. As Alice is pulling up her screen, thank you again for joining us, um, attendees. Um, please do uh, put your questions in the chat. Um, and I know she's pulling up the email addresses in case you didn't catch those. Um, and also, please um, let us know if you want to ask um, a question um, directly to 
do a voice question. Um, Ms. Choker, uh, would you mind to point out how to swap the uh, the screen? Um, just go ahead and and go presentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should be able to click through, or there we go, on that slide. Um, sorry, I just have to um, open up another file. Yeah. Well, are there questions from our attendees? I know some of you um, entered a little bit late and um, Dr. Ang from the College of Business um, and head of the Department of Information Systems presented on his department and the opportunities available there. Um, so some of you may have missed that. Um, sorry, Ms. Schroger, it looks like the PowerPoint is, has a little bit glitch on my side. Would you mind oh. to play that page? Yeah, you want to take over um, and then I'll yeah. pull mine up. Yeah, I will still wrap up. Okay. Thank you, everyone, to come to our webinar tonight or probably your morning. Um, I see. And we have the page. Um, if you have any question about our program or the awesome research our faculty member is doing, um, please feel free to contact um, Dr. An, Dr. Wu, and Dr. Gao about their perspective, uh, re respective areas. And um, thank you so much for coming to our web webinar tonight. We are honored and humbled to have you all in our international community. Um, no matter where you are, you are an integral part of our campus. And also we genuinely welcome all the students to our campus from all over the world. Um, I know it has been a very difficult and bizarre year since last year to now, but our campus has always been and always will be a place that warmly welcome all the students from every uh, from all the country and places. So thank you so much to join us for today. And now, uh, as a reminder, we will have our next webinar series. Um, please play the next page. Thank you. On the June 9th next month uh, about the professional and technical writing certificate that will be presented by Dr. Lillian um, Mina from our Department of English and Philosophy. So welcome to join us next month and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good night or a good day. Thank you, bye. Thank you, bye. Thank you, everybody. Mr. Roger.